The video, published this week by the New York Times, purports to show a group of migrants taken to the shoreline of the Greek island of Lesbos on April 11th in an unmarked white van. The group of 12 includes several small children. They are led by masked men to an inflatable boat, then taken to a Greek Coast Guard vessel offshore, which then sails further away from the coastline. The migrants are seemingly forced into an inflatable life raft and abandoned in the middle of the Aegean Sea. They were reportedly picked up by the Turkish Coast Guard an hour later. The footage, which has not been independently verified by VOA, was filmed by Fayad Müller of the Austrian political organisation Der Wandel, who has spent several years documenting the treatment of migrants landing on Greek shores. He says he has witnessed many such pushbacks. On average, it's every second day that the Turkish Coast Guard finds a life, life raft somewhere at the Aegean borders between um, Turkey and Greece. This is going on for three years. This is a major operation by the Greek state. So I had the idea or the only solution was to get a video from the, of these crimes and to publish it. The Greek government denies conducting pushbacks, despite widespread evidence to the contrary. In January, VOA reported on the death of Turkish migrant Barish Boyuksu. Ankara says he died after being tortured on the Greek island of Kos and forced into a dinghy that was pushed back into Turkish waters. Athens denied any knowledge or responsibility. We see the breaking of so multiple laws, crimes in Greece, like kidnapping, um, taking the freedom away from people, refusal of um, giving the people a fair asylum procedure, deporting them, and then, of course, the breaking of law on international as well as uh, European level. The New York Times says it tracked the migrants to a detention facility in the Turkish city of Izmir and said it verified the events depicted in the video. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis reacted, describing the video as a completely unacceptable practice, but insisted his government's migrant policy was tough but fair. Mitsotakis has called on the European Union to offer more help over migration. Analysts say there is little sign of any agreement. Burden sharing um, is a question for many governments in the European Union, uh, but I think they have resigned themselves in a way to the fact that they will not find a common solution, at least in the short term. And um, what's happening at the moment, in my view, is that this means that it's every country uh, for themselves. The European Union has called on Greece to open an independent inquiry. Critics say the EU is already fully aware of what is happening on its southern shores. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.